Hello everyone, this is Fine from Awesome Play Gaming Pro. I hope you all are well. Today I'm going to talk about the Core i9-13900KS overclocking. Actually, how to overclock this chip. You know, this is the first, world's first uh, 6 gigahertz 320 watt CPU. This part measurements show that the i 9 13900KS will rarely reach its 320 watt power limit with standard applications. There simply isn't enough thermal headroom due to the difficulty of dissipating this amount of heat from such a small area. More exotic cooling like custom water loops or sub ambient would likely allow the chip to cool more power within its 100 degrees Celsius thermal envelope, albeit for little practical performance gain. Here we take a slightly different look at power consumption by calculating the cumulative energy required to perform X264 and X265 handbrake workloads respectively. These workloads are comprised of a fixed amount of work so we can plot the task energy against the time required to finish the job, thus generating a really useful power chart. Remember that fast computer uh, compute times and lower task energy requirements are ideal. That means processors that fall the closest to the bottom left corner of the chart are the best. The 3900K sucks significantly more power than the 3900K in tests, but that doesn't deliver much of a performance gain. Increasing power consumption when the chip is already near the top of the voltage frequency curve is an incredibly inefficient way to gain very little extra performance. The motherboard are using ASUS ROG Maximum Z790 Apex motherboard and total 32 gigabyte RAM installed. You see the settings. The DDR5 7200 MHz uh, DRAM frequency performance core ratio by core usage and we will see the 6.2 gigahertz one core ratio limit 62 two core ratio limit 62 okay we will try uh, the extra 200 megahertz let's see what happens on this test The performance code ratio also uh, by core usage selected. Here is the CPU single thread and multi threaded performance. The single threaded performance shown almost 1000 point and multi threaded 17000. We didn't use Intel's extreme powerful file for our stock Intel test instead. We're sticking with our standard policy of allowing the motherboard to exceed the recommended power limits, provided that the chip remains within warranted operating uh, conditions. This means the power settings exceed the extreme recommendations. Almost all enthusiast class motherboards ignore the power limits by default anyway. Hence, completely removed power limits reflect the out-of-the-box experience. Naturally, these lifted power limits equate to more power consumption and thus more heat. Microsoft recently advised gamers to disable several security features to boost gaming performance. As such, a disabled uh, secure boot, virtualization support, and FTP MPTT for maximum performance. You can find further hardware details. The Core i9 case performs really well on 6.2 GHz. The Core i9 case surely a fastest gaming CPU in the world, but only by a hair. Using geometric mean of HD resolution gaming results, the $700 i9 case is a mere 1.5% faster than the standard. $590 39900K. That's impeccable to most users and certainly not worth the extra 20% you will pay at retail. Further, the performance delta shrinks to a mere 0.5% with 1440p gaming. So you can absolutely should not buy the case model for gaming only.
The Core i9 3900K has contents with $700 Ryzen 9 7950X in the pricing department. But the standard i9 3900K model already holds a strong enough lead in gaming to make the extra $110 for the case model a non starter for most of us. Naturally, the pre bint Core i9 3900K's will appeal to overclockers. Your odds of scoring a cherry chip are increased dramatically. However, you are still at the whims of the silicon lottery with both the case and the K model. So you could get lucky with either chip. In fact, on test uh, didn't show a very big lead uh, for the case model over the K. It could have likely dialed in a 5.9 GHz overclock on two of the K model scores and reduced the delta further. Not that there's a big difference between the chip anyway. The overclocked case model was only 1% faster than the K series model after overclocking. Overall, the case model doesn't make much of a difference to the positioning of the 13 gen processors against the Ryzen lineup. And it's a poor value. This chip will appeal to deep pocketed individuals either intent on building the highest end system imaginable or extreme overclockers chasing world records the i7 13700k remains the chip to beat if you are looking for a high-end gaming and productivity chip as the 13900 case is only 2.5 percent faster yet costs a whooping 290 us dollar more and the ryzen 7 5800x 3d is the fastest gaming AMD gaming chip by far due to its 3db cache but its extra 96 megabyte of l3 cache doesn't exhilarate all games and you will also have to accept much lower performance in just about every other type of productivity application if you are looking for an exotic 3d v cache gaming chip your best option is to wait until next month when AMD uh, now launches the 7950x 3d which is powerful So let's try further. Same example uh, RAM 7200 DRAM frequency, all are auto 6.2 gigahertz. Two cores. Uh, now we will try 6.3 gigahertz. What happens then? One core ratio link 63, two core ratio limit 63. And the voltage 1.33 actual VRAM core voltage which auto CPU input voltage load line calibration level 3 even on MSI motherboard also level uh, level 3 or level 7 level 7 in this Asus ROG Maximus Z790 Apex motherboard so let's see what happens if overclocking at uh, 6.3 gigahertz? You clearly see the uh, core speed uh, now shows 6.3 gigahertz and the benchmark will start. CPU single threaded performance 1011.2, very slight increase. Previously it's uh, 997 or 1000 and multi threaded 17,100 plus. Not so much actually. If you increase 6.3 gigahertz or clock, you can find the particulars of uh, the test setup, uh, the geometric mean of gaming tests at 100p and 1414p with each resolution split into its own chart. The graphics card using uh, RTX 3090 Ti, which to reduce GPU imposed uh, bottlenecks as much as possible and differences between test subjects will shrink 
with lesser parts or higher resolutions and fidelity. This 39.00 case is now the fastest gaming CPU money you can buy. It only holds a slim 1.5% advantage over the standard 39.00K in HD gaming tests. The delta swings to a mere 0.5% when sleep over to 1440p gaming, meaning it is essentially in the noise of the benchmarks. That certainly isn't worth paying 20% uh, more. We see a similar trend in multi-threaded workloads. The case model only offers a slight 1% improvement over the standard 39.00K and essentially ties the 7950X. We see a more noticeable improvement in single threaded work against Ryzen as the 39.00 case is 14% faster than the Ryzen 9 7950X. However, the case is only 2% 2 uh, 2 uh, 2 faster than the standard 39.00K. Now we will test the 3D mark benchmark. Let's see what happens at 6.3 gigahertz. I'm really excited to see the score if uh, it cranked up at 6.3 gigahertz looks like it's crashed you clearly see it crashed now the pc restarted you clearly see the temperature seems to be very high it touches a 70 plus degree celsius Actually, the 6.3 gigahertz is not stable. It rest, uh, restarted. So we will test again the Cinebench R23 benchmark. It crashed. Guys, it crashed. That means it's not a good idea to overclock at 6.3 gigahertz. This 3900K you maximum overclock only 6.2 gigahertz. That means extra 200 megahertz you can overclock. But if you try 6.3 gigahertz, then it will crash. Now one core ratio limit 63 and another core is 61. Let's see what happens. The DDM VDD voltage 1.4, all are auto. Actual VDM core voltage auto, adaptive mode CPU L2 voltage. It now on manual mode and CPU L2 voltage override 1.2 zero volt. CPU core voltage 1.40, core voltage overrides. Now save. And the PC restarted. Just another check. Those who buy this uh, ROG Maximus Z790 FX motherboard, with uh, 3900K processor, you can try this setting. CPU core voltage override 1.45, which is uh, very high. But let's see what happens. It's now all right. Now just a slight increase. Uh, CPU 2 core ratio limit 62. Then see what happens. And actual VRAM core voltage auto, CPU LT, uh, L2 voltage auto manual to auto then the pc restart but i will recommend you keep these settings uh, 6.2 gigahertz which uh, is stable and is reliable for gamers that no crash happened the big uh, appeal for the case is that you are guaranteed to get intel's best silicon basically giving you the winning ticket for the silicon lottery that will undoubtedly make the chip popular with the extreme overclockers especially those chasing world records. However, again, the overclocking advantage can vary. And we only saw a few percentage points of difference in our 
own head to head overclocking against the standard 3900K. Overall, the case model doesn't make much of a difference to the positioning of the 13 Zen processors against the Ryzen lineup, and it will only be sold in limited quantities. Intel now allows pairing its consumer chips with ECC memory on motherboards with the workstation gear W680 chipset. So the Core i9 3900KS could make for a powerful works workstation machine. However, it will still only deliver small gains over the 3900K. The Core i9 3900KS just isn't a practical buy for the majority of us, especially considering that it will need the priciest of accommodations like the highest end motherboard and PSU to pump 320 watt of power to the processor and a potent cooler to handle the 100 degrees Celsius operating temperatures when the chip is under heavy load, all of which is high price to pay for a few percentage points of extra performance. If you want to invest the fastest gaming chip, you should wait to uh, see the AMD's Ryzen 7950X 3D chips, which is a beast on gaming, especially on HD and 1440p resolution. These chips come with 3D Vcache tech that provided explosive gaming performance gains for Gen 3 and it's possible that it could push Zen 4 into a solid lead in the gaming over Raptor Lake. The 16-core Ryzen 9 7950X 3D to land in the same range as the 3900KS. In the meantime, Core i9 3900KS represents Intel throwing value and power consumption out the window in an effort to retain the performance crown particularly in gaming as Ryzen 7000X 3D draws near the Core i9 3900KS might be pricey and only deliver small gains, but it does set the record as being the first 6 GHz desktop PC chip right out of the box, and that's an incredible milestone. It might even allow Intel to cling to the title of having the fastest gaming chip in the world, a nearly priceless distinction for the Titan Gen Reactor Lake brand. Make no mistake, the special edition i9 13900KS is the uh, desktop PC chip ever built, at least for now. However, AMD Ryzen 7950X 3D is approaching fast. So that's it from now. If you like this video, please subscribe and press the bell icon for future notifications update. Thanks for watching.